Hi there. Please join me for a smoke. Hey YouTube, a Magnifico here coming to you from a very humid Alexandria, Virginia. I'm trying to decide at this very moment which is worse. Smoking a pipe right now in this humidity, when I had to do it out here like around February when I first started making videos. I was in a heavy jacket. My fingers were numb. The beautiful thing about that is that you can uh, also put layers on. And if you let the pipe get a little warm, you can warm your hand like this. <laughs> Speaking of, <laughs> oh man, see, all I did was that, and I get a wet sweat on my face. Anyways, damn it, that completely took everything I wanted to talk about out of my head. Shoot, what did I want to talk to you guys about today? Well, at least let me cover the housekeeping. Smoking my Capri basket. I think this is the very first Capri pipe I purchased. Um, as you can see, and hopefully I'm putting it someplace decent. I'm using the flash. I lost most of the sunlight. Uh, it's almost 9 o'clock. So this is my first Capri basket. In it, I am smoking a tobacco I haven't smoked in a while. This is the first Virginia tobacco I, I purchased and it's a um, Golden Blends Blue Train Virginia and Latakia uh, is that better? shoot hopefully I got one of those anyways um, I remember tasting it more like a, um, a Virginia I'm definitely tasting a lot of the Latakia uh, at this very moment which is odd. Um, uh, a while ago, uh, when I first started smoking this, uh, this, <laughs> this Virginia tobacco is a German brand, made in Germany, made with um, African tobacco. So I believe in one of my earlier videos, I said, check this out, pipe smoking really unites the world. I am here in the, crap, I am here in the United States, smoking an Italian pipe, smoking a German tobacco brand made with African tobaccos, isn't that, oh, and I'm Salvadorian. Isn't that a great way that the pipe smoking unites the, the world? <laughs> Sorry to recap that. I don't know if uh, any of my new subscribers have seen that old video. So, what the hell? Okay, I have no idea why this is not letting up. Well, I'm going to possibly repack this 
which kind of sucks because like I said it's humid but anyways I'm not going to keep lighting it and waste you guys this time making you watch me uh, do that uh, and because I forgot what I was going to talk about I might as well cut this short damn it I can't believe that happened I totally started thinking about the stupid humidity humidity and then I forgot what I was going to talk to you guys about well if it's important I'll definitely try to um, do it again um, uh, and since I started talking about uniting the world again um, you know what the hell I'm pretty sure some of my, my newer subscribers hadn't seen that think about that pipe smoking unites the world oh and now I have subscribers from across the pond in Europe Sweden and England um, Australia <laughs> Anyways, um, that's all I got. Um, I want to thank, since it just popped into my head, um, everybody who commented on my Cap Tuesday video that I made last night when I was asking for advice about uh, beer oil. I got some great um, topics, and uh, Pie Poppy almost got me with a fake recipe. <laughs> I mean, uh, I, I, something about the goat's milk th threw me, and I, you know, but... Um, uh, unfortunately for him, I didn't see uh, the comments that he made until this morning, so I totally missed the uh, the fake out. Because <laughs> uh, then he said, "No, I was just kidding." But anyways, but honestly, if you read the, the comments that Pi Papi made, that recipe that he was putting out there sounded pretty much real, except for the goat's milk or the use of milk. But anyways, all right. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry it was pretty much a pointless chat. Um, and uh, if you keep liking my videos or if you like this rambling anyways keep giving me a thumbs up i'm actually not even sure if i'm not cutting my head off um anyways uh this is el magnifico from alexander virginia said keep on smoking uh smoke what you like uh keep your pipes lit now i'm just stealing sign offs from a lot of people <laughs> anyways i'm el magnifico and you're not don't you forget that Till I see you again, God bless you all, so long, and thanks for all the fish. Ciao! Hey, I'm back inside the house now, I am done smoking the pipe, and uh, just really quickly, sorry about that, I know I gave you a fake goodbye, but anyways, just really quickly, oh, and I'm enjoying mango. Anyways, sorry, that's beyond the point. Um, going back to that tobacco I was smoking tonight, turns out, for some reason, it's a fast-burning tobacco, and that's why I thought I wasn't lighting it properly. Turns out I was already done. All I had in there was ash. <laughs> I um, emptied that, packed another full bowl, and in a, probably another 15 minutes, you know, and I'm, I was taking my time. I wasn't even puffing and huffing really fast, nothing at all. I was, you know, just sipping it. And I was done with it again really quickly. Nothing but ash left after that. So I don't remember that. Like I said, this I haven't smoked that tobacco in a while, and I think the last time I smoked that was maybe... Um, February, because I, yeah, and I got that tobacco from um, pipesandcigars.com from the garage section for like maybe five bucks. It's a lot of tobacco for five bucks, but I haven't seen that brand anywhere else since. Um, I remember liking it when I first bought it. Now that I, you know, I've experienced better tobaccos, I think um, it doesn't taste so much as like Virginia, but I do taste a lot of the Latakia that's in it. It's a Virginia Latakia mix, and um, yeah, it's very. Uh, fast burning i didn't know that tobaccos were fast burning but that's what happened i'll continue to try it anyways uh for real this time till i see you again may god bless you all so long thanks for all the fish ciao